and um, do that retake. Is it going anywhere? All right, so the retakes are going to be um, on Friday for, for that. If you haven't taken it, though, and you want to come in during Liberty Time today and take that quiz, I would love to be able to give you that quiz. And I think I've already given all three of you a pass. Okay, so capture question, handed back the density of Earth's materials, went over the quiz. Let's look at what we're doing today. Everybody get out your TOC, table of contents, and let's fill her in. I know, it's gonna be a great day. I also am very excited. This is what your table of contents should look like, sweeties. Today is 12-5. I cannot believe it's already December 5th. I know. So page 21 is going to be model. We're going to create a model of the Earth's interior. I am really hoping that we get to page 23, which is notes on Earth's interior. I hope we can do that. My hope is to have our large um, quiz on Wednesday. That's going to end this first part of the unit, and then we're going to start the second part of the unit on Thursday. I don't know if that'll happen because, my God, we have a lot to do in a short amount of time to do it, but we're going to get there. So if you could write down this on your table of contents, that would be great. Good students become great students when they get themselves a little organized. Know that you can definitely rewrite that uh, Earth Materials lab. Hand that in and I'll regrade that for you. Or if you've not finished it, please hand that in. Oh, fall down. And I'll grade that for you. A little star fell down from the window. All right. So once you get that written down, could you please get out your one paper that you picked up that looks like a triangle? That is going to be a slice of the earth. And we are going to go ahead and, yep, that one right there, Ebony. We're going to go ahead and um, create a model on the earth's interior. I'm going to draw this for you. This is what it looks like. And we are going to look at the earth's interior in two ways. On the left-hand side, it's by chemical composition. So if you could write that in. Composition. And then on the right-hand side, it's going to be physical properties. So that's the two things we're going to be looking at. So at the top of your pie slice, do you see where it says composition and properties? Please write chemical composition and physical properties. On the top of your slice of pie. Good? Instructions, my darlings, for what it is we're doing on the first side. Sorry, I'm written on it. So it says draw a line down the middle of your pie slice, separating the left and the right sides. So the first thing I want you to do, I would use your maybe ruler so that you draw a straight line. And you're going to go ahead and draw a line straight down the middle so you are going to separate it into two sides. There is only one ruler per pair, so if you could please share that ruler, that would be really great. You have your own ruler, so you can go ahead and use that one. William, you have a rule. I think that's great. Draw a line down the middle then, then. Right. That's step one. Draw a line down the middle of your pie slice, separating the left and the right sides. I will model that for you on mine. Not a very straight line. All right, label the left side, chemical composition. Label the right side, physical properties. With me so far? Great. The next thing we're gonna do is just focus on the left side right now. We're gonna create a model that is gonna show each layer. 
For each layer, I need you to measure it, color it using your color pencils, label it on your pie slice. So you're going to say, this is the crust, this is the mantle, this is the core. And you're going by thickness. So for the first one, for the crust, it's only 0 0.2 centimeters. What does that mean? Yeah, Will? Two millimeters. So a millimeter, for those of us that are not familiar with centimeters and millimeters, if you look at your yellow ruler, we see that it's one centimeter, and in a centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. So it's two of these little tiny lines. That's the thickness of the crust. So please make sure that from the top here down, you're going two millimeters, okay? Or 0 0.2 centimeters, that's two millimeters. Two millimeters. These two tiny little things. Yes? On this side. So you're gonna measure down from here two of these tiny little lines. So you're gonna measure down two of these little lines and then draw a line only on this side. You're gonna draw a line. It's gonna be two millimeters. Millimeters are the tiny, the tiny little lines in the centimeter. In one centimeter, there's 10 of these little lines called millimeters. Then the next one is gonna go from that line, so then we're gonna do another thickness from that line down, and that's nine centimeters and five millimeters. Okay, so that's what this means. 9.5 centimeters means nine centimeters and then five millimeters. So five of those tiny little lines. The next one is going to be 12 centimeters and 3 millimeters. So this is 12 centimeters and 3 millimeters. Make sure that when you measure that from the bottom of the mantle line all the way down to the point, this is what you have. Otherwise, we've measured the others incorrectly. total is this? If we say 0 0.2 plus 9.5 plus 12.3, what's that total? 22, that's right. This is a total of 22 centimeters. So that's going to be our total is 22 centimeters. Please make sure that you have labeled what the crust is, labeled what the mantle is, labeled the core, and then color each one of those so that they look different from the other. When you're done with that, we're going to determine how much percent each layer accounts for in the interior of the earth. We're going to round to the nearest tenth. We're going to use this as our total. I will show you how to do that if you don't know how to do that. But right now, let's color and label. Write the word crust. Yep, the thickness, we're doing the thickness of each. I say so, that's a good partnership then. Yep, we are gonna measure it, color it, and label it. Anybody needs 
help, that would be a great time to say, Miss Frank, come over. And I'm like, boom, 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 I'm on my way. Measuring just the thickness of each one. Color each layer anything you want. model of the earth you're making. And it's a scaled model. So if you measured accurately, it should be accurate in its representation as far as thickness of each layer. Just going to walk around and see if anybody can tell with their coloring. So if you are done, using the data provided, determine how much in percent is each layer accounting for in the interior of the earth. And then round to the nearest tenth. Looks good, man. Just make sure that you're labeling each one crust, mantle, oh, excuse me, core, mantle, and crust, okay? Does anybody know how to do percents? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That is a core. Yeah. 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 William, do you know how to figure out the percent? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Well, let's think about it, you and I. Let's think through it. How would we figure out? If this is the total amount, how would I find out how much 0 0.2 centimeters is of 22? Uh, subtract it from 22, then subtract it from 22, then divide that number. subtract it, but you could just divide it. Let's imagine that you had, so you could take 0 0.2 centimeters, divide that by the total, and then multiply this whole thing times 100, and that would give you your percent. So to find percent, take Get your calculators out. If you don't have a calculator, get your phone out and open up your calculator on your phone. And let's do the first one together. Since the total, this is just like the same way that you figure out what your grade is on an exam. If on an exam there was 22 points available and you got only 0 0.2 points, you would take... 0 0.2 and divide it by 22 and you find out what your grade would be, right? So you take 0 0.2, everybody put 0 0.2 in your calculator, divide that by 22. Then multiply that by 100. And that gives you, what does that give you as a number, Rebecca? Uh, it gives you 9.90. 0.90? Yeah. Do you have 0.90? Okay, but we're rounding to the nearest, we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so what is that? Is it 0.90? Yeah. Okay. Say what? No, it's point nine. It's just 0.9 even? It's point, it's point 0.90 repeating. Okay, point 0.90 repeating. Great, so then that would be, is that right, Rebecca? Okay, so then that would mean that the percent of the interior of the earth that's the crust is 0.90%.
it's less than 1%. And usually it's always good to put a zero in front of the decimal also, so it'd be like 0.90%. So then let's go ahead and do the mantle. So then for the mantle, the percent, you'd say 9.5 divided by 22, which is the total, and then you'd multiply that by 100. Somebody help me out with that one, because I would you get for that answer? What? We're doing this one. Can you this one? 43.18. Say again? 43.18. Okay, so we have 43.18%. And if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, then that means I round this up to what? 20? Right, to two. say two zero yeah 20 would be working so 43.2 percent would be how much the mantle takes up so then let's go ahead and do um, the core the core is 12.3 divided by 22 and then you multiply that by 100 somebody who has not participated yet so not Rebecca uh, Ethan. 55.9%. So then we have this as 55.9% is what's the core. Yes? So please make sure that you record these amounts on your paper by each one of those um, thicknesses. You got that? Great. We good? You got all of them? Do you have yours, Charlie? Yes. Great. Are we good on that one? It all adds up. It should add up to what? Should add up to 100%. So now what we're going to do is work on the right side of our pie slice. Okay, so I'm going to move this up. I'm sorry that our numbers are going to get all jumbled, jumbled. But now let's go ahead and look at our physical properties. All right, I'm going to move these out of the way. We are now going to do the same thing that we did on the right side, but now we're going to be, I'm sorry, on the left side, but now we're going to be on the right side. We're going to be over here. So again, the lithosphere, mesosphere, outer core, and inner core are now the layers that are physically different by, uh, than each other. So for the first one, which is the lithosphere, that is 1.2 centimeters from the top line. So again, that means one centimeter and two of those little millimeters. That's what you're going to be doing from the top on that side. Then the next one is going to be eight centimeters and five of those little millimeters. The outer core would be seven centimeters and three of those little millimeters. That's 7.3 inner core is just going to be five centimeters and you're measuring not from the top of each one just the lithosphere is from the top and then the mesosphere is measured from the bottom of the lithosphere down we're just measuring thickness to create this model notice the lithosphere is much thicker than the crust Remember, you are sharing your ruler with your partner, so. If you measure one, they can measure one. You measure one, they measure one. You're going to, again, color, label, and then I want you to do the percent just like you did on that other side.
you need to get your calculator out to go ahead and do your percents on your phones, by all means do that. For those of you that need a little extra help, I can help you set this up. It's 1.2 divided by 22, multiply that by 100. The mesosphere, 8.5 divided by 22 times 100. Water core, 7.3 divided by 22 times 100. And then inner core, 5 divided by 22 times 100. The entire pie slice should be colored and labeled. There will be no dead space left. Where I had seven of them in there, and now I think there's only, I think the smallest one got eaten. That's what happens, right? Your percents in there? Oh, well, I can get you a calculator. Don't ever just say, I can't. There's always a way. Year, I'm just saying. I'm gonna have to hopefully sign up. I want everybody in there. Yeah. Nope. Absolutely. Engineering, yes. Do it. Learn those CAD skills. Keep coming. Are we good on this? Feel good? I can move away from this? I can't move away from this yet? So this is our model, right? We've created a representation of what the inside of the planet looks like. Did anything surprise you as far as how much matter is being taken up by each layer? I was surprised. I thought for sure that the mantle took up the most space. I was wrong. It's actually the core that takes up the most space. 
I thought it was the mantle. I knew the crust was the least amount of space, but I thought the mantle uh, took up the most. And can I move away from it now, Billy? All right. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to start taking some notes on these different um, layers so that we can understand why chemically versus um, physically um, are there differences. Why is it chemically and physically there are differences? So what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at um, this. And the first thing I want you to do with your pair share partners is name the layers of the earth. And what are the different layers of the earth? What do we got? We got the crust. Nice one, man. What else do we have? We got the core. What else do we have? Popcorn and out. The mantle. What else? What is another layer? Another way we can layer it? We got the inner and the outer core. We can break that core up even more. Boy, you know what? People like to label everything. Asa. Sure, absolutely. We can talk about the lithosphere in terms of what's inside the earth. What's another label we can do? No, Asa, you already participated. Mesosphere. The mesosphere. That's right. What else? There's one more no one's talked about. The asthenosphere. Asthenosphere. We can also um, talk about. What do you know about the crust? It's thin. It's thin. We know that. What else do we know? We live on it, and some of us live in it. If you were like living in a cave, you'd be living in the crust. I guess if you have one of those apartments that is like underground, you live in the crust, right? I live on the crust, unless there's a tornado, and then I go in the basement, and then I'm in the crust. So these are our three basic layers. We've got the crust, we've got the mantle, and then we've got the core. Okay, so scientists can separate the layers in Earth of two different ways. The group of scientists that studies what the layers are made of look at what's called the chemical composition. That was one side of our model. The group of scientists that study how the layers interact or, um, look at what's called the physical properties. That is um, how we can separate them. All right. Chemical composition, that's gonna be on the first side. I'm so sorry, everybody needs to have that note sheet out in front of them. There's a note sheet, I'm gonna show you what that looks like because I've lost some of you and I apologize. This is what the note sheet looks like. And we right now are gonna be on the right side where, or excuse me, the left side, I don't know, time with that. And we're gonna be talking about chemical composition. So write please chemical on the, the composition part. Chemical composition. We're on the left side, chemical composition. Um, that is something, what something is made out of. So we're talking about like, is it made of silica, iron, something like that. All right. So chemical composition is where we are. It says first we will discuss chemical composition in layers. These layers are separated based on the kinds of atoms and molecules in each layer. Do you see where to write that? Mm -hmm on your sheet. So underneath the, the very first box it says these layers are separated based on, you're going to write kinds of atoms and molecules in each layers. So we're looking at the elements that these layers are made of. Do you know where we are, man? Right? How much time do we have? How much? One? Since we only have three minutes, let's go ahead and start here tomorrow. At this point, could you please make sure that all of your materials are put in the little pencil boxes and the pencil boxes are closed. And we will hop into it starting with chemical composition tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. We're only a day away. Tomorrow.